Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. So I'm going to try and turn this random pile of scraps from the garage into a pop gun. The first thing I'm going to do is cut down some of this 22mm copper pipe. I've got it clamped up in the soft jaws in the vise. Now, I have got a pipe cutter, but that tends to push the ends of the cut in a little, and I don't want that, as this is going to work as a piston, or the outside of the piston. I use a round file to give it a bit of a clean up, and then I can have a test fit with my projectile. Now, a standard wine cork, which are increasingly hard to find these days, fits fine into a 22mm pipe. It's a little tight, but we'll sort that out later. Now I can work out how long I want this to be. Let's call it the barrel, and then I can get it cut down, but this time I'm just going to use the pipe cutter, as the other end is not so important. For the stock, I've got this bit of oak. It's got a crack in it, it's really twisted, so I've not been able to use it for anything else. So I just sketch out a rough design of what I want the shape of the stock to be. I can then take it over to the bandsaw and get that shape cut out. So that's the basic shape done, but it's all very square and chunky and needs thinning out a little. So I'm just going to go around and mark where I want to remove some material. Then I can go back to the bandsaw and try and do a bit of carving and get it down closer to the shape I want. So this is starting to feel much better, much more what I want it to be. Now it's just for a lot of sanding. First I use the bobbin sander to try and smooth out some of these curves. Then I use the random orbital sander and finally I do a bit of hand sanding. I have some 20mm dowel which fits perfectly in that copper pipe. I just need to attach it to the stock, so in this bit of scrap I'm going to drill down the centre with this 20mm drill bit. Unfortunately it was too tall for the drill press, so I just tried to go as straight as I could. When I was all the way through, I could take it to the bandsaw and get it cut in half through the centre of that hole. So now you can see that hole was not quite on centre, but it fits that dowel perfectly. I could now get this part glued and clamped onto the top of the stock. The dowel for the piston now needs cutting down to length. I decided to cut it to the same length as the barrel, but you'll see later on this was a bit of a mistake. Now, the barrel for a gun should be gunmetal blue. I don't have any of that, but I think some India ink staining it black would be close enough. The cork projectile needs attaching with this nylon thread, so first I need to drill a hole down the centre of it.
Then the cord can be threaded through, knotted, and secured in place with some hot glue, which is also going to plug that hole, making it airtight. The piston is quite a snug fit, but I don't get perfect compression. So I've got this foam sheet that I'm just going to cut a little square out and then cut it into some little slivers. I can then attach it to the end of the dowel using this little eyelet. I may roughly trim up this foam, just making it a bit rounder. The other end of the nylon cord that's attached to the cork can then get knotted onto that eyelet. Okay, so I've kind of got it working. Got a nice pop, but when you pull it back, the cork doesn't sit nicely, so I need to shave a bit more off that. That was a better one. But if I get it on the stock, hold it on and try and do it. Don't have enough movement in it. So I've either made the barrel or whatever you call the black bit too short or the copper bit too long. So I can't extend that. So I'm going to chop the copper pipe down a little bit. This is why you experiment before you glue it all up. Okay, so we've cut that down. Let's get that on there. Great, now we can get it put together. So now I know it's gonna work. I can get some glue applied to that bit on the top of the stock and get the black piston part put into place and clamped up. When the glue's dried, I use this drill guide to drill a couple of holes and get them countersunk. Link down below to this little guide. Then I get a couple of brass screws put into place. The stock has a few cracks in it, and I'm gonna fill these with some epoxy. So I mix some up and add some black food coloring to give it a little tint. and then fill all the cracks and just leave it to cure. When the epoxy is dried, I can come back with a random orbital sander, then some final hand sanding before getting the finish applied. Of course, I'm going for some badger wax. So I get this brushed on, I leave it for around 10 minutes, then I come back and get it all buffed off with a microfiber cloth. And that's it all finished. So that's it all done. And this was just a bit of a fun project for me, but obviously it is designed to be a kid's toy. So if you're making it for a child, maybe lose the copper metal barrel and go for some PVC pipe. A wooden butt stock that you can hit people around the head with, maybe also not the best idea. You can just have it as a pistol grip. Um, you don't have to use a cork, you can use a bit of foam. So if you have children, you know the kind of thing you can do to make it more safe. Um, yeah, bit of fun. So thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.